So I thought I'm gonna turn into one of those YouTubers. Ha, huh, only joking. Uh, this is my outfit, probably from Primark. Hello and welcome to today's video. So this one's kind of a bit different to my others because we're going places. We're not sitting in this room and chatting. We are going to IKEA. So um, yesterday was A-level results day, which didn't really mean much for me because I already had my place, but it might mean something to you watching this. So I'm really sorry it was so screwed up, but don't let whatever results you get define you. Obviously, if you got what you needed, brilliant, but if you didn't, then there's just so many different ways now of getting to where you want in life. I've just been sent up paddle boarding, and now we're going to McDonald's, and then we're going to Ikea. So I'm gonna take you along my uni haul because I wanna go get everything before everyone else gets it first. Essentially, this is gonna be probably a long video with me complaining half the time because I complain a lot. One of the reasons I'm doing this is because when I looked up on YouTube and watched videos on what I needed for my room, instead of watching people's hauls like this one where you just go and buy, I watch them reacting to it because I think that's a lot wiser rather than people saying that they had a guitar. No, that's not a bloody guitar. Rather than people saying that they bought a tractor for university, it's gonna be, I bought a tractor for university, but I didn't really use it, so therefore I know not to buy a tractor. I mean, that's a stupid example, but you get what I'm saying. So really I'm making this video because I like watching them. After I've done my first year, I can do another video reacting to me Baby Phoebe, because I'll be a year older. I need to like analyse what I did and actually what I didn't use, which I think is a lot more helpful than just you watching me buy loads of random plants. No, I look like I've got a beak. We are here at IKEA. I don't know how good the microphone's gonna be. ready to do my haul. So first I'm going to start with the kitchen and what I've got for there. I have got two of these basically, I don't know what they're called, but when you take your pot or your frying pan or your baking tray out the oven, put it on there. That's probably the worst, most untechnical expression of kitchen supplies you'll ever see. But I'm not, I don't know how to cook much, so half of these things may be irrelevant, but I thought they looked cool. So we grabbed them. Also, I went with like a bright color kind of theme so that I know what's mine. I then got these pans and it's a set of three. It's Cav, I don't know even why I'm trying to pronounce these because I don't speak Swedish. Kavalakad which is essentially three pans and they've got like Teflon non-stick so hopefully things shouldn't stick but I mean they were quite cheap but they do the job I don't think I'll need all three but they came in a pack of three so I can just take the couple that I feel like I need then here's my bigger frying pan well my frying pan which is 24 centimeters Um, it's probably Big enough for single things, but like, because in my book that you've, I've got, I've got a NOSH cooking book for students, and there's quite a few like meals in a pan, but I don't think I'm going to be able to fit them in there, but then I'm not Gordon Ramsay, so I don't think we'll be adventuring that far quite soon, so if it, if it gets to the point where I do need a bigger pan, then I can just go buy one, so here is the pan. 
here I have a sieve so basically I pick a sieve over a colander just because I just didn't really want a colander because if everyone's going to bring a colander uh, I don't need to bring one, do I? Because I can just borrow one. I then have a trusty, really cheap, what they call, dustpan and brush. Here I have a pack of utensils where it basically just has like a ladle, pinchy grabber things, some pasta, weird shaped thing. I have a wooden spoon because I'm very particular about my wooden spoons. Simply because if it's like all rough, I cannot put that in my mouth. I can't even like... I know you don't really like eat off wooden spoons, but you know like good chefs are meant to like taste their food as they're doing it. Like I cannot, like my tongue will not go on anything. It's not smooth. Colour themed yet again. I have a pizza cutter, a tin opener with some handy instructions because honestly I have, I'm so useless at that I don't know how to do anything. Then I've got my um, scrubber thing. I've got my scrubber thing. I've also got one of those magic magic scrubs. Basically, I've got one of them things where there's like a pad at the bottom. And then in here, you put the washing up liquid and it like comes out. Here, I got two containers that are microwavable and just two different sizes if I wanted to store anything. Basically, I've gone a bit overboard on the idea of storage because, to be perfectly honest, I am winging this whole thing. Now, I have these bubble or cutlery and right i've got a story with this so you get six of each thing which really is way too much however we actually have these at home anyway and they were 12 pound originally and they snap all the time so they break off the handles break off so now they're reduced to four pound so now we know why so i've got 24 i don't really need 24 but if they're breaking all the time it's fine for half them to break there. It was £4, but all £24, because they're still selling them, because they are rubbish. But if one breaks, I've got five more. Then I have these three oven trays, which are non-stick. We'll see how much that lives up to. But to be honest, I'm only really going to take one. But they came in a pack of three for three quid, so just bought the pack, really. Here I have a dish drying mat. I'm probably really delusional, because... University is probably not like that at all, but I'm prepared if one ever needs a drying mat. Here I have two bowls, as I tend to have my cereal in a bowl, so that's what we're doing. One bigger bowl, one little plate that was blue. Essentially, I wanted the bowls to be in like crazy colours too, but they didn't have any. And two green big plates then here i have a plastic bowl that can be shook in the microwave and the last thing i've got for the kitchen is i've got it the wrong way around after i haven't are these glasses and basically the six of them they're quite small they're bright and they're different so i will know which ones are mine here i have my duvet and my pillows Single bed, because we're going to have to downgrade from my nice double bed at home. Hard life, but I'm sure I'll get used to it. <laughs> I've got my two mattress sheets. I got them in like a dark grey, just because I thought that was something a bit different to my like white sheets that I have at home. Now I've got my duvet cover sheet things in a cool purple and a brighter pink. Then I've got this reading light, which is in duck egg blue. Then I've also got these extension packs, because... I don't really think I'm going to have that many plugs, but I don't have that problem now because I have extensions. Also, I'll be getting a over-the-hook hanger things because we thought, well, my main door might be a fire door, so we might not be able to do that. But then I remembered I'll have, like, a bathroom door, so I can put the hooks on there. So we've still got that to get. Still got chopping board to get. For the bathroom, I've got this, which is essentially just a, your basic plastic stick it on the side of the shower and put your shampoo conditioner and things like that in it storage wise everything in scub so this scub this scub which is a big basically just storage thing that slides under the bed so it's color coordinated with my mattress sheet thing this is little scarves. These are basically loads of little boxes that are going to like go in my drawers to like separate things out of it. And then this scarf is a 
basically it's like a big long thing full of compartments that you put in like your wardrobe to separate it out a bit and finally here's my laundry bag thing which is essentially just a big cool bag that i can just chuck everything in and chuck it in the laundry because i am now an adult and have to do things for myself so thank you for watching uh, please subscribe if you like this because there's only going to be more content coming um yeah Give a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Thank you.